Hello everybody, welcome to the final chapter of the trip to France that we did last summer. Don't worry if you missed the previous episodes, because I will link them down in the info box. Today we will visit some French towns on the northern seaside, and we will hit as many vintage stores as we can. So come and join us, let's go! <laughs> A lot of sheep! <laughs> Good place. Today we are visiting some uh, small Please. towns in the north of France. Uh, let's see if we can also find, you know, kind of vintage shop or book Brook. along the way. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. second hand shop. The first stop for today's vintage adventure is this store with a good selection of true vintage clothes mixed with some retro inspired pieces. The prices are good if compared to the prices that I usually see in the Italian well curated vintage stores, so 15 euros or 20 euros for a summer dress, it's a good price. This college style jacket by Zara is 12 euros and uh, this jacket by Betty Barclay is 25 euros, cool color, and there are also the matching pants. These true vintage blouses are very nice. I'm so obsessed by all the different patterns. I really don't know why I didn't pick any of these nice pieces. Vintage scarves are always my greatest passion. This one is made of silk, it is beautiful and it's only 12 euros. In this section we can find crochet cardigans, but guys, the temperature outside is really high and so I'm looking for lighter garments. And I have a similar shirt in my suitcase, I guess you saw it in a previous video. Then here there's the men's section. I just told you about the high temperature, but I'm too obsessed with leather jackets and I can't pass on this rack of wonders. It's not common to find so many fringed leather jackets all in one place and I love a good leather jacket for fall, oh, but these would look oversized on me and I don't really wear that style. Here there's a selection of marine inspired t-shirts. My favorite is this one, but 35 euros is a bit too much. Anyway, I would totally wear this one. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And now I truly regret not buying this pretty vintage skirt for 30 euros. I've been looking for a similar one for months, but I still haven't found it. Oh. Uh, 
are you going? of our dreams. Look at the view that they have. And that should be Saint Malo. Are we bringing home a new plant? I bring home a uh, clematis. One of our favorite plants. What about the color of the flower? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no flower right now. This is the situation of our shopping right now. <laughs> We've got so many things and now we also have a plant. <laughs> Let's hope nothing gets broken along the way. Grande spiaggia libera. Con bellissime villine. Villone. We keep on finding beautiful villas. Oh, beautiful and empty beach. In Italy there would be umbrellas, umbrellas everywhere. We definitely choose that house. That. <laughs> we just discovered that, that this is kind of a museum house. <laughs> They found a frippery second-hand clothes shop. Shirts from Japan. What do they mean? They are kind of cropped. Oh. Lovely. Okay, so this is super easy. Look, this is a simple shirt. They made a knot here and also on the back. And here it is, Japan style shirt. Among all the pretty Japanese style blouses, this is one of my favorites. I like the colors and it would look nice with the shorts that I'm wearing today. I love browsing to find unexpected beautiful squared scarves. But I'm looking for something special, something that can remind me of this wonderful trip to France. And here I still haven't found it, even if this one is pretty and it's made of a good quality silk. This skirt really reminds me about a tablecloth. <laughs> it's very unique, but I'm not sure if I like it or not. But I know that some people buy vintage tablecloths and curtains and they transform them into beautiful skirts and dresses. And I mean, here the skirt is ready, you don't even have to sew it. Age antiquities. They they closed it. They put a shoe shop. <laughs> Cote Brock. It's closed, but we can have a look at the window. There we have 
beautiful clock for 5.90 and then oh pharmacy vases for 85 euros each these are 125 they have a set of florentine tables for 210 euros a giant dalmatian <laughs> for 390 some other florentine items they are fashionable here mm. ah, high prices also and that lamp beautiful Micho hi <laughs> hi So, smoked salmon carpaccio. Da I don't know. Why eggs? I don't know. Oh, Dio. Questo non mi piace. Fish of the day. Filet. Creme brulee. Ice cream. Why don't you eat your ice cream? Well, tonight we are sleeping in a real castle and I'm gonna show it to you in a minute because uh, we are not arrived yet, but I can see the sign here. Here we are, Chateau de la Vernède. <gasps> ah! Wow, wow, wow. Medieval window. Sì. Voilà, Chardonnay wine. Sì. And we are eating like <laughs> this. Bonjour. Bonjour. It's a new day here at the Chateau de la Vernède. We absolutely loved staying here. It was such a magical experience. And before leaving, I would like to bring you on a small tour of the house. This is the medieval style of this castle. And she was the owner, Marguerite de Valois, daughter of Caterina de' Medici. Are you relaxing? like to stay here all day long here in the garden but it's time to say goodbye to the chateau so yeah let's go on with our trip for another city another town on 
on our way to the next town, we found this brocante or vintage shop. It looks very interesting, so let's have a look. This table has a leather top that reminds us about the coffee table that we brought home from France a couple of years ago. It was a great find and we have it in our living room now. Also this one is very pretty. This pair of Mahalika pieces are so beautiful. They are a bit expensive, 35 euros each. But look at them, they have amazing colors and you can hang them under a porch or under a gazebo and have falling plants on them. I think I should have bought them, so this is another regret for this trip. But don't worry, we got some pretty items from this shop, so keep on watching. What have you found? Oh, <laughs> coffee pots. But uh... We already have that one, yes. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And we can't buy every coffee pot of France. <laughs> This is a pretty cloisonné piece, I think it's missing the lid, but you can still use it to put your jewelry inside. In this shop you can find price tags only on a few items, and the others, well, you've got to ask to the owner. That's how it works here in France. Orologio da nave. Eh, sì. Sailing clock. Cicadas. Typical of the Provence region. And then... Uh, what else? Oh, that elegant lady. Maybe it's a bit too much. Oh, very nice. But the frame is a bit... Ruined. Cosa? The frame has a chip here. What about the prices? I don't know. There's oh. no only only few things. Oh. <laughs> Here I spotted these pretty barbotin dishes. This is a typical French handcraft, and I like this set with purple flowers. But maybe there's too many of them and I don't want to separate the set, so I'm going to pass on these. I didn't have it. Ah. Un po' da ripulire. Bayard. Very mm. nice. Nice color. I always look at the color. <laughs> it's not the most important thing, I think. But anyway. <laughs> oh, so cute. I like the shape and height of this dish. Oh, beautiful. But I don't really know how to call it. <laughs> Please let me know down in the comments. Passiflor. Ah. It's a passion flower. Beautiful. These green and white pieces are very pretty and remind me of the Wedgwood porcelain, but I know that the original pieces must have a mark on the bottom and these don't have it, so I can't really tell what's their value. Arrivo, arrivo. Fabiano loves these old oil lamps. He got one during this trip and maybe he could start a small collection. We'll see. <laughs> La spada di Napoleone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow! Eh, è proprio carino. Pare anche un'incisione lì. Mm. Wow! Fai vedere l'impugnatura? Wow! Bella! Super! <ride> e 
Is it recording? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Not like yesterday. This time <laughs> I'm recording. Okay. So it's not easy. It's not easy to fall in love. Is it? This one. So cute. So cute. Yes. Uh, Brasil is Heineken. Delft. Made in Holland. Hmm. Nice. Oh. Have you seen? I don't uh, remember. Wedgewood. Wedgewood. But they are not Wedgewood. Oh, it's they the same. Similar. You see, they don't have the right mark. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask the price for this one. Beautiful. And not the uh, no, piatto. Uh, yeah, what's the dish? Insieme alla mia sveglietta. And here is our haul. I got the ceramic piece and Fabiano got the alarm clock and the oil lamp. <laughs> I believe he has started a new collection. Hi guys! <laughs> it's a little bit windy here. We are walking to visit Le Mont Saint Michel that is over there. Ah! Are you ready, my love? I'm ready for what? For the visit. Yes! To climb up the, the mountain. <laughs> so beautiful! It looks very steep. <laughs> are you happy? But uh, in uh, six hours, more or less, there will be the high tide. So in a few hours, uh, all this part of the shore will be covered with water, and it will be no longer possible to stay here. <laughs> so ah, why go. not? Uh... Because there will be water ah. up to here. <laughs> so let's go for a walk. Ooh, so windy. Somebody is walking to that island over there. <laughs> We are wondering what happens if they get stuck there. <laughs> we are walking around Mont Saint Michel, and this part is very sassosa. <laughs> I'm gonna write it down on the screen. I don't know this word. Full of stones. Tony. <laughs> Tony. Could be. Tony. Could be. Could be. Every stone mm -hmm. talk about an ancient history. Uh, of uh, chevalier, kings and queens. Oh, and princes. And princes killed by the dragons, uh, fired by the dragons, no. uh, eat by the dragons. Why? Yes. What about poor the princess? princess. <laughs> All the princess, Aurora's one, Aurora's two, Aurora's three. <laughs> they died waiting for yes. their prince. All it was a very sad story, <laughs> but luckily I already have my prince here with me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <Amo. Salade niçoise et Caesar salad. Bon appétit!
Well, there is a show, a light and music show inside the airbay on top of the Mont Saint Michel. And we were late as usual. <laughs> so we are climbing up to the top. Let's see. Thank you, good night.